high up on the 15th and 16th floors of the Valiance Tower in Oklahoma City, resides a company called Quibids. Quibids puts a new spin on online shopping with what's called penny auctions. A real Oklahoma success story, Matt Beckham, one of the company's founders and the CEO, explains how that works. It's actually a pay to participate model. So with uh, a normal auction model, such as say eBay, uh, you don't pay to bid. And in my experience, and a lot of people's experience, you might save uh, 10, 20 percent off retail in those auctions. Uh, with a penny auction, you actually pay to participate. So you, you pay for every bid. And every bid on our website costs 60 cents. Uh, and so how the model works is every time someone places a bid, it resets the clock to allow others to then decide if they want to continue to bid. Uh, and we collect bid revenue. And what this allows for is us to sell uh, brand new items at insanely cheap prices. So a MacBook will go for $20 on our site, or an iPad will go for $10 uh, on our site. Uh, and like I said, we're collecting money off the bids, which then allows us to give uh, the winner a really great deal. The work culture at Quibids has a wide open, communal, and even a playful feel, where employees may spend hours in front of a screen, but then can rotate off and play a game of ping pong. When you attract the right people in the beginning, uh, it's been a way to continue to attract the right type of people. Uh, and, and everyone's energetic and lively and, and, and like to have fun. With the internet business uh, and how we do customer acquisition, um, it's, it's very, we have a very granular view of um, how we obtain that customer, what media buy they came from, uh, what ad they clicked on that they signed up on, uh, what time of day, and we track everything. So uh, we can look at the cost to acquire a customer, and, and then we can look at what the customer will go on to be worth. Uh, and so the goal is a lot of new customers <laughs> at the right cost, bringing them in. Beckham explains that finding the right talent in Oklahoma hasn't been easy. Oklahoma is not um, the tech capital of the world. So given that we're a tech company, uh, when it comes to development and programmers, we've had to search the nation. And there's been other positions that we've really had to go out uh, and search hard for as well. So that's been a challenge, I would say, is when you build a company like this in Oklahoma, um, the right type of talent in certain key positions isn't readily available. Even though the type of talent he's looking for may be found more easily elsewhere, Beckham says that he plans to stick around Oklahoma. Ultimately, I guess it comes down to me <laughs> on whether we stay or not. And, and I love Oklahoma. I was raised here, um, went to school at OU, and uh, I've always kind of planned to stay in Oklahoma. Uh, and I know that all our employees really enjoy um, where they're at in, in Oklahoma, too.